we all know there are other conditions such as or other medical and health conditions I should say such as cancer and diabetes uh, there's a lot of research going on in those areas and maybe a lot better funded why is it so important that people uh, support research into epilepsy and how it affects younger people Epilepsy is not a rare condition. It is just as common as diabetes, if not in childhood, more common than diabetes. It's just not as so well known. It's also a much more varied condition um, in view of the fact that epilepsy isn't a single diagnosis. It's really the epilepsies with many different causes and many different outcomes. It's therefore very important to realise that we can't have a one-size-fits-all. We don't have one treatment that caters for all types of epilepsy. And therefore, to improve the long-term outcome of all individuals with epilepsy, we have to have a greater understanding of those different types. Very simply, your moment to just, just any other comments or anything else you'd like to add or say? This is the third um, annual re epilepsy research retreat that we've held and each one has become bigger and better. The number of collaborators, those interested in what we're doing has grown and what we hope will stem from this particular one is it, other areas that we haven't really encroached on as much now, further collaboration that we can move forward with. Well, I've been invited to, to moderate this, uh, this conference, which I think is a very important one. I'm particularly impressed by the way it's a very multidisciplinary um, meeting with physicians, scientists and educators from very different backgrounds mm -hmm. sort of brainstorming together and I think that's the way progress will happen in something as complex as childhood epilepsy. Such meetings are predictably unpredictable, that you hear things that you hadn't thought about before, maybe facts that are generally known but synthesised in such a way that it, it opens eyes for you and I hope to establish some new collaborations as well. Well I think this initiative is an excellent one and I hope that it will continue on on a yearly basis because I think it will be very productive. So uh, John can you please tell us um, why an event such as today's is so important? I think today um, it demonstrates bringing the, the expertise together on a very complex condition with a lot of different impacts on family and young people and indeed the professionals who are dealing with the young people and their families. And I think what it demonstrates today is if we're going to get to the bottom of what's best for these young people, how we can make them achieve the best for them and for their families, then it, it's going to require us bringing together a range of expertise and that's what these events are about. I think even those who have only travelled as far as, from as far as London have also brought their expertise from worldwide to bring it into Great Ormond Street to ICH etc in the first place. So we really are dealing with world class researchers in this field. Ultimately, how do you think uh, your epilepsy research will help those younger people living with the condition? Oh, it'll do it by um, helping to give insight into what's actually wrong with them. Because most of these children will have uh, three or four things that are actually wrong, not just one. Uh, so they'll very commonly have learning difficulties, they'll very commonly have uh, attention deficit disorder or uh, autism spectrum disorder. So Professor Neville, uh, why is it so important to support epilepsy research? I think that's because it will assist uh, in, uh, in developing uh, the, uh, the framework for whatever level the child is at. So if it's at a very early level, you want to get them referred fast um, and uh, to an expert who knows about the subject. Um, and if it's referred relatively late, um, you've still got the opportunity to find out what's wrong with the child mm -hmm. uh, and look in some detail at it. And um, so it's, uh, you've, you've got the opportunity at, at various stages. Mm -hmm. So I've been doing research looking at uh, the natural history of Rasmussen's encephalitis and looking at determining uh, the prevalence and incidence, um, so the, the rate at which it's seen in the population uh, for the first time. Uh, it's the first time that anybody's looked at this anywhere in the world. I think it's important uh, that people support epilepsy research, partly because there's a lot of misinformation um, sort of amongst the general public and the fact that it, it's, there's a lot left to discover. 
And so uh, taking a fairly obscure condition like Rasmussen's uh, is one that, I mean, it impacts uh, upon children's lives. And so actually focusing the research on there, starting to understand whether there's any sort of common causality uh, in there, it, it has the potential of making a great impact uh, in an area of research where there is a lot left to discover um, and very, well, relatively little has been done already. And this is Young Epilepsy's third such research retreat. Yeah. Um, why do you think an event like this is so important? I think it gets everybody together across a broad range of disciplines. Uh, so, I mean, so far today we've covered uh, everything from genetics through to uh, histopathology, uh, and we've got a, a lot left to cover. Uh, and because everybody tends to sort of focus, I mean, the whole point of research is that you become expert in a very specific area. It helps to be able to get a, a idea of the broad picture mm -hmm. uh, and to be able to see what everybody else is doing across a, a number of different labs.